no description of you sufficiently describes your truly immeasurable beauty. However, that is why God gave us experiences to help us do the best we can. About August time, on my way to see my sister and pray for her before I went back up to school for my senior year, I opened her room door and immediately drawn across the room, I saw something spectacular. And you can probably guess, it was you, Karis. January of 2019, I had decided to transfer schools, leaving my new best friend, your sister, and changing the trajectory of my life, while also dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression due to the traumas of my past and current family struggles. You and I spent hours on the phone that semester. We talked about our stories. We were so open with one another. You're the very first person I was 100% honest with. With you, I didn't feel the pressure to have it all together. I didn't have to perform. I didn't have to worry about being a burden. And you created a space for me just to be me. However insurmountable, I promise we will endure every moment. So for my last vow, I also end in a poem <laughs> that I wrote. <laughs> we love, not for the sake of outloving, not to inspire people, not to go against the status quo. We love for love's sake, the only true fitting reason in the end. On how you're feeling, I will always do my best to create a safe environment for you to be 100% with me. Yes. Can't wait to change the world with you and Andrew. I love you. Genesis 2.18, God said, It is not good that man should be alone. The very first problem in the world was a lonely man. And so while Adam was sleeping alone, the Lord put him into a very deep sleep and removed from him one of his ribs and made it into a woman, but not just any woman. A woman created exactly and perfectly for Adam. So there in the Garden of Eden, God performed the first ever wedding ceremony. And Andrew and Karis, all of us tonight are in agreement that God created each of you for each other, just like he did Adam. So Andrew and Karis, that is why the strength and the true glory and beauty of your marriage is actually not seen tonight, but it's seen in 25 years from now. It's mm. seen in 50 years from now. When you've seen each other at your worst and you stay, when you've endured your spouse's flaws and sins, when you've endured sickness and health, wealth and poverty, good and bad, but you stay, you stay and you love. That 
is the glory of marriage because that is the beauty of Jesus' love for us. I solemn vows before us, before God as witnesses. They have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings. It is my joy to pronounce that they are husband and wife. What God has joined together, may no one separate. Andrew, you may finally kiss your bride. pleasure to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Karis made for an exceptional friendship with you, but they are going to benefit you in your marriage with Andrew. Um, and marriage takes a lot of all of those fruits, and probably marriage takes a lot more. I'm still trying to figure that out, but <laughs> Andrew has a good thing coming marrying you, um, and I know you guys are going to be great for each other. Now, Andrew, on the other hand, I will also say that you're gonna make an amazing husband for Karis. You, I've always liked you. Literally since the day we met, I think one of the first things I was like, yes, this is my guy. Both Karis and Andrew have powerful testimonies of God rescuing them. What they may not realize is that he's using and is still using him and his rescue story for my life and the lives of so many others. Karis and Andrew, life would be boring without you guys. I love you both so much and congratulations. Before we get to the traditional wedding toast, I'd like to add uh, a tradition of my own. 
Uh, technically, Andrew started this, this uh, tradition at weddings, but I think it's fair that uh, we continue this, this, uh, this tradition. So, this is for my love and everybody. <laughs> And as we raise our glasses to this incredible couple, <laughs> don't worry, we'll duke it out later. <laughs> Let us wish for a long road of health and vitality. May these youthful years never pass them by. When stormy days arise, they find themselves dancing in the midst of it. I love you guys both. Cheers.